Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do just a very little quick mini home bargains haul. I popped in in my lunch break today and picked up a few bits, some of which I've not shown on here before, some of which I've not bought myself before. So let's start over here. Um, needed to uh, box up the winner's prize from my recent competition. So. So I need some parcel tape, I'd run out. So this was only 59p for 40 metres. It doesn't actually feel like there's that much on there, but yeah, for 49, uh, for 59p, one can't grumble. So for 79p, I got this. I'm sure this probably was from um, the Mother's Day selection. Seems to have a little critter stuck in there. I'm gonna have to get that out. Eee, it's like a fly that's trapped in there. Uh, yeah, it's just a shopping list, a magnetic shopping list that you can stick onto your fridge or something. We've got one of these, not a mum version, but um, just a general shopping one. It's really handy. We just have it on a notice board and uh, you can just write your bits on, peel it off and crack on. And that says, busy being a mum shopping list. But that was quite pretty. So that's a little gift for my mum. I got this for my little nephew, Dre when he comes to stay which hopefully won't be too um, far away thought this was quite snazzy actually he loves diggers and it's a magic water book never seen anything like this before not having had children maybe i'm uh, not realizing that these things are out and about in the shops but it's so it's a coloring book but you you uh, forgive me if everybody knows how to use this but you get um a paintbrush, put a bit of water on it, uh, wipe over the colour and then it sort of turns into a paint and then you can colour things in. Got loads of pages of it. So I thought that would be great because it means I don't have to buy a load of paint. So hopefully it's not going to be too messy. That's the idea. Just add water, no mess, get creative. 79p, which was an absolute bargain. What's the uh, RRP on that? Has it got one? Yeah, 4 99 So really pleased with that one. So Alan and I nipped out the other day and when we got back we had a cup of tea and fancied a biscuit and we didn't have any. So I thought I need to get some in the cupboard. I saw these in home bargs. These are delicious. I love them. They're by Lions called Toffee Pops. I actually thought they were more calories per biscuit but I'm thinking they're probably not very big. 70 calories and um, they are a toffee filled biscuit with a chocolate flavour coating and they were just 99 pence. And then talking of biscuits, I love these. They're just little packs of um, mini jammy dodgers. So you get four in a little pack. Let me just get one out to show you. So in each pack, you get six mini packs of these and you get four biscuits per little pack and they are 88 calories. So they're a really, really nice little sweet treat. Um, you know, if you're watching the calories or watching your weight, they're a really nice little uh, little biscuity snack. They're not very big, I have to say, but for 88 calories, what do you expect? Um, and then you get, for those, they're on offer, two bags for £1.50. Alan's been suffering with his back a bit, so he's had to have a few ibuprofen and we are running out in the cupboard. So I tend to pick up ibuprofen or um, paracetamol when I go in home bargains anyway, because they're so cheap. Maximum two packs at 39p a pack, 16 in there. Absolute bargain. I'd run out of these, so I've bought two more. These are the John West jacket toppers. So they're tuna with a lime and a black pepper dressing. These are lovely, just stuck on the top of a jacket potato. Or to be honest, you could have them in a sandwich or they'd be not quite nice on crackers or something like that. Um, yeah, cracker bread little crackers uh, 89p each and they are I think I might have already just said that 137 calories per pouch the only thing is Alan really puts me off them when I serve them up because he says it looks like kitty cat which uh, he says it every time I open it and it really puts me off but it still tastes delicious anyway and then these were something new by Don Mio. So these are like little mini meals in one. They serve one, portion for one, and it's pasta with, um, this one's got tomato and chilli in it, and this one is tomato and basil. And these per pack are, that one's 280 calories for um, 200 grams, and that one is 278 calories for 200 grams. 
So it's little bits of pasta in a sauce. And what you can do with those if you want to, leave them as they are. I think I might put a bit of goat's cheese mixed in with one of those. And possibly I might put some tuna, not that tuna. But I might put some plain tuna in there or a little, maybe a chicken breast on the top of it. Obviously you can have it on its own if... Um, you know you're really watching your weight because that is quite a low calorie meal served with a lovely big side salad but if you want something to go with it as well yes yeah, some sort of meat or cheese to go with that i think they are something that i'm really going to get into one pound 29 per pack so yeah really really uh looking forward to trying those standard pot noodle beef and tomato 60p great snack to have in the cupboard or i actually have those as an evening meal every now and again because i actually i actually absolutely love them um please let me know in the comments down below if you're a pot noodle fan so all these i actually went in to get some hair and nail tablets but they didn't have any and i do like the old effervescent um tablets to go in water to make a bit of a, a different flavor or a different taste to the water that I drink and the normal ones I have are from Audi but I've not been there for a while and the last time I did go they didn't have the flavour that I like so I thought I'd get these ones these are vitamin D lemon and lime flavour high strength and these are for bone health and it says on the back uh, vitamin D helps to maintain normal bones, teeth and muscle function. Vitamin D contributes to the normal absorption and utilisation of calcium. Vitamin D supports the normal function of the immune system. So a general all-rounder really. Um, yeah, so 99p for 20 tablets and I love lemon and lime flavour so I, uh, I shall be enjoying, I'm looking forward to enjoying those actually, one a day. Needed some bags. I know we, care, we need to be careful on plastics, but these are, as they say, handy bags. I don't use them in a bin. I use them, I tend to use them to empty all the contents of our bins around the house into. Um, I do get through quite a lot of rubbish and because I've been getting a lot of stuff sent to me through Instagram or for the YouTube channel, I end up with a lot of cardboard, which I need to recycle all, all the bits and bobs from it. Um, so these are just great to have and just sort of empty the bins into and then I can put them in the main bin. So you get 40 handy bags for 99p and then I've run out of bin liners. I do have a thing about bin liners. I think we've got a really odd shaped bin and I struggle to get what bin liners that fit it and then that are strong enough and I do quite like a tie handle. So not tried these ones before sounds like i'm trying some new food 20 swing bin liners tie handle 50 uh liters approximately thick strong reliable lovely ideal for standard swing bins so i think they're going to be plenty big enough 99p that was a lot of information about a bin liner and then finally the pièce de la résistance the pink stuff so one of you lovely viewers got me onto this the pink stuff for whites now i used to use vanish the vanish powder equivalent for whites which costs an absolute fortune you're looking at probably for this size of um tub if it's not on offer it's about eight or nine pounds so I'm absolutely delighted that I found this. And yeah, I like it. It's £2.49 for this great big tub, which is a kilo. So I put that in with our white towels and um, Alan's white t-shirts and white pants and that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, it gets the towels nice and white. And then they also do one, which I didn't realise, for colours. Same price. So I thought I'd get that as well. I'm going to try this actually on our gym kit. So yeah, I've got two of those. So two kilos for £5. So that is cheaper than one tub of the Vanish one. The Vanish equivalent. And I think it's as good. So those two... Well, we've not tried that one yet, but that one's a definite recommendation if you need something for whites. Just a couple more items. I've been back to Poundland, surprise, surprise. So I thought I'd just stick them on the end of the video. Um, only a couple of bits, and then I've got some bits from Boots as well. So I'll just quickly talk you through them. So I'm not sure if I've had this from Poundland before or not. I do buy these from Home Bargains a lot. 
Um, when I see it for a pound, it's absolutely fantastic. It's toilet cleaner and it is so strong. It really, really works well on lime scale. Doesn't smell the best and it's bright blue, but it is fabulous. If you've got issues down your toilet, this is great. And in Poundland at the moment, it is one pound. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I went into Pep & Co just to have a little look around and I got a couple of bits for my little nephew. These were really good value, I thought. A pair of um, just slim fit boys denim jeans. Um, they sort of, they look as if they're quite washed out on this, on the camera, but they are quite a dark black denim. Slim fit and they were only four pounds. So I got those in an age two to three, so they'll fit him next year, but they're quite a straight leg fit albeit they are quite slim so yeah four pounds they're really good and then i also got him a, some socks just a pack of five socks uh next size up so he's now hitting the old size six so these are five pairs and these were two pounds fifty i actually was quite drawn to them because of the football socks but he's a leicester city supporter or he will be because my dad and brother are which is blue so not sure if they're going to be too impressed that i've bought red football socks but as we go along there are more so there's a black pair and then another pair of legend that's a bit of a random thing to put on kids socks and then of course the blue socks so they are the little leicester city football socks that he'll be wearing then baked beans i've been struggling to buy any home bargains I've been in twice, didn't have any. Pound stretcher didn't have any. So when I saw a little three pack in Poundland, I thought I'm gonna get them. They were one pound, were they 129 or 149? No, I think they were 129, because I think they're normally 149. But these are really handy, this size. I love just a little um, tin of baked beans to put on a jacket potato with a bit of low fat grated cheese great snack to have in the cupboard then believe it or not i ran out of washing up liquid in our house washing up liquid seems to last for absolutely ages i suppose because we've got a dishwasher it just takes ages to get through anyway we've got two sinks in our kitchen so like a utility sink and a main one and i went to uh, fill up the old um, dishmatics the other day with the uh, dish soap and both of them had run out so panic stations this was the reason for the visit to poundland and here it is um i've not tried this one pink jasmine look at the size of that whopper two pounds this is an absolute bargain you've got uh, well over a liter in there for two quid this stuff ha uh ha -huh. wow i was first introduced to this in B&M and it's absolutely lovely. Only problem being it's quite a lot of calories for just a little bit. Uh, what we got there? Well it's in grams but the actual bottle is in millilitres. So I only have a little squidge. It actually isn't in the fridge section but I think once you open it I always put it in the fridge. Yogurt and mint dressing it is delicious it's lovely with rice it's nice with meat it's lovely on salads it's got quite a strong taste it's almost it almost tastes a little bit fiery or a little bit spicy with the yogurt and mint but you don't actually need an awful lot this one was only a pound and i think the one i get from b&m is no way near twice the size for two quid this is a new recommendation to you so if you've not tried it and you like salad dressing or stuff on rice blah 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 yeah give this one a go for a pound absolutely lovely and then just a couple of bits from boots i thought i'd just throw in on this haul this is a fantastic mascara if you're on a budget and you're looking for you don't necessarily have to have waterproof but um mum and i used to use rimmel for many many years we've both got quite sensitive eyes mine are a bit less sensitive than mum's now but she can't really use anything other than rimmel but during lockdown when i used to send the um the little rescue parcels to her i included one of these it's just boots natural collection their own waterproof and it's two pounds 49 and they do it in brown black which 
a lot of um, brands don't stock brown black anymore. It's either black or black is black or black, 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 whatever. Mum prefers just a little smidge off the brown, off the black, which I have to say it's nice because it's not quite as harsh on your eyes. As you get a little bit older, it's a little bit softer. And yeah, this is the waterproof one and she's been using it and she really likes it and it's not been playing up with her eyes. So if you've got sensitive eyes, this one's a definite recommendation. This little beauty, as you know, recently I've been talking about moving from um, shower cream or shower foam, foam burst over to cleansing bars or soap which is the old traditional name for it. And I bought something like this off eBay. It was absolutely rubbish. I used it and it fell apart on the first wash, which really annoyed me. But I've seen this a couple of times in like um, a sustainable area in Boots. Um, they've got a lot of stuff that's been recycled. And what it is, it's just like a, a soap pouch, an exfoliating soap pouch. So what you do, you put your bar of soap in there, pull the drawstring, and I keep dropping the soap in the shower and it makes so much noise when it thuds on the floor because it's so slippery. I drive Alan mad, I drive myself mad. So I've needed, that's the reason why I bought the other one. But as I said, it's fallen apart. So I've got another one. It was quite pricey, five quid for a piece of material. I like the fact that it's got a lot of texture to it. So I'll put the bar of soap in there and that will give me a nice good scrub as well as letting letting all the um, the soap or the cleansing bar and the suds come out and giving you a good old clean. LVV, which, you know, L'Oreal, we all know this brand very, very well. I've seen this on somebody else's channel and I thought, oh, that caught my eye. And it's like a hair transformation product. It was on offer, half price, £10 down to five. So, of course, it caught my attention, being the uh, savvy shopper that I am. And it's for long damaged hair. Well, I don't know, my hair's not that damaged anymore, but it can be a little bit dry because I um I you know I bleach it quite a lot, I dye it a lot. And I think this sort of coats your hair with some sort of whatever product it is. You pop it on and you leave it on only for eight seconds. But you only you so you start again. So you wash your hair and then you pop a bit of this sort of through the ends of your hair. Um, I suppose probably mid to bottom of the hair, the hair shaft. Um, don't put it near your scalp or anything like that. Leave it for eight seconds and then rinse and wash it out and then follow with normal conditioner. And it's supposed to make your hair really really smooth and shiny, but without being weighed down. So really looking forward to giving that a go i may well test that as a review if you're interested in me doing a review on that will you drop me a comment down below and uh, i may well film that for you i hope you've enjoyed that one thank you very much for watching just thought i'd pop on and show you a few bits that i've not bought before i do like if i can to try and um, cover a few different items on the channel so i shall see you very soon thank you very much for watching please do subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you soon Bye for now.